are all my seedlings that I started. And <laughs> these, the cut broke, so they're just kind of hanging out in some soil and some water. They're fine so far. I just planted um, two containerfuls of Sunrise Bumblebee and Selenums, and I planted a really big super sweet hybrid. This is actually a watermelon and some cabbage and these are peppers. I'm not putting any peppers out just yet, not until after next week because they don't do well in temperatures below 50 degrees. So my Corbachis and uh, my Edgevar skis, none of them are going out. This is really, I have some really rooty, or uh, what do you call it, mulchy starter up here. So some of these peppers just didn't more happy look but there's a seed right there that didn't start because it was just too mulchy in here so it tried they're kind of it's kind of starting <laughs> but yeah I have a ton of selenums and bumblebee that I don't know what to do with so I just planted so if some of them don't turn out I guess I'll replace them if you would be interested in some I'll do a dollar a plant um, or if you want like a whole thing of them, then I do that for like $4 <laughs> <laughs> or maybe four fifty. I don't know. I don't know. We could talk. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff that I started. Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? Can you believe all these started from seed? I can't wait to get them outside and all my melons. Now my honeydews aren't doing so well because they're supposed to be in a sandy soil. So they started growing up. I don't have my garden area ready yet, so I wasn't able to get them in, so I'm gonna actually have to restart them, which pains my heart because these are these have all been planted at the same time, so they actually should be this big, but I haven't gotten a chance to get them ready. These are orangelos. Look at these watermelons. They're orange inside. Like, I'm really excited to try some of these. If you're interested in trying some of the melons that are doing well, holler at me. I've got lemon drop watermelons. I've got these orangelos. I've got, let's see what's over here, Chirintes. They're like a um, cantaloupe with less seeds. They're very sweet. Uh, where are my other melons? Do I have any others? Golden honeydew didn't grow. There's my German green tomatoes that I need to actually separate. There's a ton of those coming up right now, and I need to get in there and separate because they're not big enough to do that. I just separated my black strawberry tomatoes yesterday, and I'm hoping that they make it. Oh, this was the other one. What is this crimson sweet watermelon? So I have two that are growing up and these two are trying. <laughs> so anyway, it's all beautiful. There's my bell peppers that came up. All of this came from seed. And I can't wait to get it all in the ground. This guy gave up. He's like, nope. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't make it. And there's the torn cut for the other one. Sometimes things just don't make it. And this this is about to pop out. This is a green bean, I believe. Yeah, this is a green bean. So it was a little behind the others, probably because I don't water it as frequently. But um, it's finally popping up to join the other three that are already outside. And I'll show you those in a bit. So, pays to start from seed. Look at how lovely everything is. And there's so many of them. So proud. All right, so my Vigo beds are about ready to start planting. We're about to get the cattle panels up, which I'm excited about. I'm adding some green back in, which is the nitrogen, and gonna let that decompose a little bit, but I'm about ready to start planting my tomatoes out here. It looks like we're done with frost. At least that's what meteorologist Brad Panovich says. So I'm gonna bring you back here. Um, show you what I've got going on back here because there's some different methods of gardening that you can do and I'm kind of doing like all of them. So this is one of my raised beds. I have green beans coming up that I grew inside the house and so they're kind of young sprouts right there um, but they're actually doing very well and I'm happy with them. Uh, I've got three green beans down. I've got two black eyed butter beans and I planted these from seeds and Look how beautifully they're coming out. Aren't they just gorgeous? They will grow up this trellis. And then there's lima beans. So I've got two black eyed butter beans there, three lima beans there, and then these are all my okra. I've got my Star of David okra. 
that is the Israeli version. It's not a slimy inside. And then I have just the, the bush lake okra. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put down here yet. I'm going to put probably some peppers or something down here. I, I haven't decided what exactly I'm going to put on the end, but I have some space for a couple more smaller things um, since all of my beans will be growing up the trellis. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I've got three China jade cucumbers planted. These grow long and, and lean, and I'll be able to plant some things depending on what size, in the middle and at the edge. I'm not sure yet what size I'm gonna be planting in here. I might be doing just some like small tomato plants and they'll, they'll take up a lot of space right up front, but I'm not sure yet. Since things are going up the trellis, I don't have to worry about something up front blocking sunlight from back here because the leaves growing up the trellis will photosynthesize just fine. So if you're doing trellis gardening, you don't have to worry about staggering quite as much because you just put your viney things in the back and then kind of like your bushy things up front. So I haven't put anything down here yet. This is another one of my gardening um, options that I'm doing. So I laid down some mulch. There's some compost on top of that that I need to get mixed in and underneath it looks like this um i didn't want to i'm looking at my carrots i didn't want to fully set this up just yet because i wanted you to see kind of what's underneath so this is cardboard that can be broken down i pulled all of the plastic tape off of it so it is plastic tape free i mean anything paper like the labels can stay on that's not the end of the world and and then I put down like sticks under there, green stuff. This is what you call the lasagna garden. So you layer stuff. So you put like sticks, mulch, leaves. Don't get rid of your fall leaves. They're fantastic out here. And you just kind of build it up. Now I'm right here, um, this area, I'm still going to be adding more cardboard, more green. Like these lawn clippings, I'm just picking these up and I'm throwing them in there. Um, and then I'll cover them with some more mulch and some more of the compost. Um, now this area here, this is going to be my melons. Um, so I'm going to be putting up another cattle panel for another couple of cattle panels for my melons to grow up. But they'll go in ground instead of in a raised bed. Uh, but my melons will go here and then I'll be getting more mulch, more compost, and then pushing things kind of more downward and down toward the end of the garden is where I'm going to put my root vegetables, like my potatoes and green onions. Um, what else do I have? Is that all I've got right now? Sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, and green onions. Yeah. So this is getting prepared. I'm going to get some more cardboard and push it down that way a little bit more. But this is getting prepared for the root vegetables. It doesn't have to be extremely thick. Um, I'll probably get it a, a few inches thick and it will grow that stuff beautifully. Look how nice that pulls up out of the ground from the mulch if it's growing up. I'm just going to toss that on there. You want to do browns and greens because the greens um, give nitrogen. The browns give carbon. Um, and you want both of those. So things like sticks and pine straw and your browns are also like um, the wood chippings, the mulch, the leaves from the trees. Compost is actually considered a green. It gives nitrogen. So all of that is going to go on here and create a nice garden bed and then it'll slope down. And I'm planting some elderberries down at the end. And oh my, I don't know how my got a little bit of green on my sticks. These are grapes. I don't know how they're looking. I don't have any green on this one. Looks like the, I can't tell if it's dead or not. No, it's still kind of bendy. It's living. So yeah, I'm going to top all of that off with pine straw, not pine needles, pine straw, and it'll lock in moisture. So those are what my gardens are looking like right now. I'm really happy with how they're coming along. Can't wait to get my starts out here because they're doing so well. All of this is started from seed and I'm really happy with how pretty it's looking. So it's gonna be an awesome garden season. And whoop, <laughs> keep gardening. Have a great rest of your April and going into May. I know I can't wait to start enjoying my garden veggies and fruits, which actually we enjoy fruits of the garden not veggies, that's its own thing, but whatever. Anytime you're picking something from the vine, it's considered a fruit, not a vegetable, but we're not gonna get into the logistics of that. Hey, little gardener. 
<laughs> Wanna show us the spinach? Here you go. Thank you. Here's my spinach. It's about at the end of its lifespan. See, this one's kind of turning at the end of its lifespan. Lettuce is kind of getting to the end of its lifespan. As soon as it starts getting warm, these things die. There's my carrot and some, a, little, a few more radishes. Eliana got a little excited and picked that one a little early, so we just left it in there to become compost. Hey, Judah. <laughs> and then there's my raised garden beds for my partial shade veggies that are gonna go up on the porch, so it'll be easier for me to reach. But anyway, have a lovely weekend. Have a fun time gardening. We'll be canning our garden things soon. I'm planning on doing like pizza sauce and bruschetta and we'll just can tomatoes with oregano and basil, all the flavors on it all summer. So I'll be doing videos on how to can those things. Plant your gardens, can with me. I'm looking forward to it. Bye.